Hello everyone, uh, I'm Brad Hinsey, EVP Marketing at Prestron, and we are here at ISC 2025 uh, today. And this is really the best place for us to show so much of what we can do um, for, for organizations. Uh, as you can see, it's a very packed booth. Uh, quite it's busy. a very busy booth, right? It's a very busy booth. There's like um, tours of people coming around. Oh, yeah, all the time. It started at 8 a.m. Uh, and then we'll go all the way till six for the next four days. Um, but really what we're showing here is Crestron really provides technology that enables people to share information within an organization on digital signage, on screens around the room. Uh, we focus on making it easy for people to walk into any space and use that technology in a really natural and simple way. And then lastly, how do we enable collaboration, right? When people get together or they're trying to connect with people remotely, we deliver that technology. And so one of the big areas that we're showing um, here is what we call our uh, DMNBX, which is our AV over IP solution. And with this very flexible and scalable AV over IP solution, you can take content from anywhere across your organization or across your home, and you can distribute that anywhere out in a really What's flexible it connect? way. What's that? Content like HDMI? Uh, you can do HDMI, any other network content, and you can do USB-C content. So it's a really flexible way to get content everywhere. And we see a lot of, uh, a lot, what a lot of organizations will do is, say you have a cafeteria area or a canteen area, and you know most of the time it's the canteen, you can have lunch there, but then once in a while you do a town hall. And so you have screens across the space to show beautiful content just like this, but then when you're in the town hall, you switch to show the uh, the video from the content or from the town hall or another live stream. So it really gives you that flexibility and scalability. We also have other major customers like uh, JPL Laboratories. When they sent the Mars rover to Mars, in their command center, they have a whole bunch of meeting rooms that support the central command center. They use NBX to be able to share content between the main co uh, command center and the individual meeting rooms, but then they also use it to connect with our video conferencing solution. And so, so what's great about these new displays is you can do huge yes. configurations yeah, and right. you feed them. Yeah. yeah, you can do huge configurations, you can do lots of little configurations and very easily share the content between all of those and switch it on the fly, right? And you can do it in a really secure way. Um, the other side of what we provide is uh, our collaboration solutions. And this is really all about how do you make it simple for uh, people within an organization to have a remote meeting um, and have calls and do it in a way that people can see who's in the meeting room, what's happening on their face, right? What kind of a conversation is happening? We do is that through- Is this your software running there? Uh, this is our camera manager software. Um, and so uh, through this software, you configure the room. Um, and what happens is in a lot of uh, really high impact spaces, boardrooms, really engaging rooms, where we're gonna do brainstorms and other things where that collaboration is really critical. You can end up putting cameras around the room. And then as people are having a conversation, then the cameras will file, follow that dialogue and make it really easy for the remote participants to really feel a part of that. Uh, that How does it capture the perfect call? sound? Uh, the sound, so we will integrate with microphones that are inside of the space. Oftentimes it's ceiling based microphones. And then we use the audio to point the cameras where the audio is coming from. And so in that way you get this really dynamic experience and you know, well, you see who is actually having that conversation. Nice. Yeah. Uh, and there's so many demos here that you have at the booth. Which yeah. one do you want to show? Uh, the, that demo is really good. Um, Let's see. Oh, so here, let me show you this one. This is another demo for how we configure that multi-camera solution. And so you can see the audio. Uh, these are the microphones. These are where people sit around the table. Um, and then you can test and see, well, when somebody here is speaking, which camera should we actually be using to point them that way? Right. And the cameras that you are selling have very high quality optics, they the video, are, yep. There's the 4K. A, an i20 and an i12, and so it's a high quality, uh, 
4K, uh, but then it's an optical zoom, and so that's that's how you really get that tight, really uh, really great picture without losing any quality as you zoom zoom in on people. Uh, sorry, it is a very very busy yeah. space. So let me show you uh, one other technology that is really cool. Uh, and we see a lot of a lot of organizations. Can I steal this? Thank you. Um, a lot of organizations to enable uh, easy collaboration within a meeting space. This is Type you know, C. This is Type C, right? And uh, and so all you do is you go into a meeting space. You need to share content on a screen. It could be a massive screen. It could be a, a single screen. You just plug this into USB C, and you're automatically sharing your content. There's no drivers to install, it's secure, you don't have to be on the wireless network, so it's a really great way to make it super simple for anybody to share. It content. takes a display port video output and encodes uh, it and put it over wireless, or how, what does it do? Yeah, it does, it acts like an extended monitor, like a display port, yeah, and so that's why you don't need an extra uh, driver or any other software on it to run there, which is really awesome. Uh, we do have a software application, if you don't want to use this adapter, uh, you can run it from that. Um, but the other thing we added is... Can you run Display Link also? Uh, you know what, we'll have to follow up on okay. that one. <laughs> yeah, sorry. <laughs> so plug, play, present, and really a lot of devices just gonna work. Yeah, that's right. Um, and uh, because, it, again, it's just acting like a display, a regular display. At what do we see here? Is it, uh, what is this part? This is the box, uh, this is the base station uh, that you actually plug into the HDMI from the TV, uh, any of the USB USB device, and then you connect it to the network if you want to display it as well, or to, to separate it out. All right. Cool. So you can see we have a lot of a lot of stuff going on in the. In what the is booth. a bring your own device presentation? Is it similar to what you're just saying? Uh, so the other functionality with this is if you're in a meeting room that has a video bar attached to the display, and say you want to run a Teams meeting or a Zoom meeting or a Google Meet meeting, um, the hardware that's in the room, the video bar and the display, can turn into the hardware that you use for that call. And so you can run the Teams meeting on your laptop, but you're taking advantage of the hardware that's installed in the room. And so it's a really and good way to use that. Behind there, there's different form factors for there those? Are, there are a couple different form factors of the box. Really just depends on what you want. Um, we introduced a new version of the box that you can actually install under the table, and then that way you can provide people with the software or with an adapter, or you can also have just a USB-C cable at that table because some people are very uh, familiar with that. So again, making it really simple for people to come into the space and use it. What do we it. see here? Uh, this is a Crestron touchscreen. Uh, this is the interface to control the technology in the room. You can see it's a really beautiful device. We have a bigger version. We have a wall mount version as well. Because when you walk into a space, you want to know, oh, I can just walk up to this touch screen, touch a button, start a meeting, uh, start a call, turn on all the displays, turn them off, you know, share all this kind of content. Is that the new one, this one? Oh, no. Uh, this, uh, it's this one, actually. Uh, this is the new version. All right. Yeah. And uh, it's a huge booth. Do you want to go a little it bit over so there? It is so big. Yeah, you want to keep going? Yeah. So there's so, more NVX, yeah, NVX. AV over IP. Yeah, so NVX is our AV over IP platform, and a lot of customers use it for audio and video, but we also have several audio-only applications uh, where you can distribute the audio. Um, these speakers are network-connected speakers, PoE, um, and so you can listen to your audio right through these speakers on, on that network. We have an, uh, an amplifier uh, with embedded streaming services in them as well, so you can listen to the services that you like um, right through that infrastructure. When it's over IP, is there any latency? Uh, it's over IP, no, uh, very little latency, right? And that's something that we've really pri uh, prided ourselves on is low latency, high scalability. We have many customers that have over a thousand devices, several thousand devices in an organization, um, and it's also highly secure. Um, and so this is, you know, a real high priority for the technology. What are these little devices, USB of IP? So you can connect yeah, so remotely is, a hard drive or something? Uh, no, actually, this is just a way to get USB peripherals into it, and then you distribute it over the network. And so maybe you have cameras or you have other peripherals that you want to have on the, the network. 
Um, and so these are just devices to enable that. Nice. And what's happening around here? Um, OK, so this is showing over here on our uh, AV over IP solution. This is a new capability where you can take multiple uh, sources of video and display them on a singular display. Um, and so this is really great in, uh, say, bar applications or even inside of a home. You know, and you want to watch all the different sports channels um, all on one display. And so then we have this big touch screen. You make it really easy to display, well, what layout, what content do you want? Um, so it's really flexible. It's a cool solution. Um, over here, this is all of our residential technology. And, and so one of the things that uh, Crestron has done for a long time is enable a smart home uh, by bringing together all of your audio entertainment, video entertainment, um, your lighting control, shading. Um, you can control um, all of your content right from your touchscreen or touchscreen remote. It's a very advanced it's remote very cool. control for the very sound cool? system. Very sexy is for it? your sound system, but also for your movie theater or you just want to watch TV. Right? It's really uh, it's great kind of way to control your whole home. It's kind of a universal remote. It is a universal remote. That's right. Yeah. Um, and so you can do all kinds of. Uh, great control applications there. Um, different levels of uh, speakers um, for uh, installing throughout the home. How uh, high performance so, do, you, do you go? Uh, all So here we have multiple levels of these. Some of them we have all weather. You can take outside, right? Or you can do um, inside uh, as well. Different sizes, different sound qualities, uh, different levels of tweeters. And you can see right here all of the different applications. We have low profile. So uh, a lot of homes, especially here in Europe, there's not a whole lot of room to build in a big speaker. Um, this we're showing our audio. Uh, input. Uh, this is what we call our vinyl over IP solution. We're really taking this analog music experience, putting it on the network so you can distribute it really flexibly. But how, how, how does that work? Vinyl is supposed to be analog. It is analog. Uh, but we have this device here. Um, this is our NAX device that takes it and connects to a vinyl recorder or a vinyl player and then puts it onto the network. And very so high resolution, very, very high bit yes. rates. That's right, exactly. So you don't lose any of that quality. Uh, you don't gain any latency, right? It's a really good experience. We also have a very flexible open ecosystem. Um, open. Where you can integrate all kinds of other technologies, even that we don't uh, produce. So, you know, Cool Master for your HVAC control. Um, we also have things like your uh, charger uh, for an AEV vehicle, right? We have a gas and sensor, a, an energy sensor, so you can understand how your energy is being utilized inside of your home. We have a Tesla integration, so you can see your car, you can manage uh, your car. All how is it open? App. Is it open source, uh, free access for other companies to we, collaborate? The, we do have an open API, and we have the tools to write the drivers and applications that get added to Crestron Home. Yeah. Nice. Uh, lighting control, um, shading, um, uh, this is a new uh, introduction for us here in Europe. We've been doing uh, shading for a long time, uh, but shadow shades are here produced locally. So it's a really great way to, to get that technology. Um, all kinds of great lighting control using Dolly, DMX, you know, even things like Philips Hue, really easy to control uh, within the Crestron Home application. This is using our touch screen in the wall um, or using a keypad. Right, again, providing homeowners a lot of different entry points and interfaces to make it really easy to control their home, that's how people want to live. Right? They don't want to fight with technology, they want to make it really simple. Um, so Crestron is everywhere in the home? It and is. Also in the smart everywhere. locks? Yeah, we can integrate with door locks, uh, whether it's with 2N or with Yale um, or August. You know, there's several others um, as well. And this gives, uh, what this really does is this gives homeowners the ability for them to choose the technology they want and then they can bring it in and integrate it in with Crestron and control it in a really simple way. Um, and then over here, this is really focused on uh, the tools that we provide to our system integrators uh, to really easily and simply deploy Crestron into a home. 
right? And that's really important for you know the integrators supporting the technology, um, also homeowners making sure they feel confident that they're getting really good uh, installation. So you can see we have a lot in this booth and we provide a lot of solutions for all kinds of different homeowners and for businesses, whether you're in education, you're an enterprise, you're a government, uh, we have great uh, solutions. And how do you have a line between what's uh, on this side of the booth and that side? Sometimes it merges a little bit, no? The it features. totally merges. And that's what's interesting is a lot of our technology that we provide, it's actually the same technology used in these different applications. It's just the scale of it, right? Our AV over IP solution that we use for government and for other applications where we've got thousands of endpoints deployed, it's the same thing that might go into a home where you may have 20 uh, different endpoints. It's just a different, a whole different scale. And so we can take the same technology platforms and we can apply them both in these commercial and residential applications.